Hey guys, so you all were expecting Apple to drop some hints on the iPhone 12 in yesterday's event and they did. We saw some exciting products like new iPad Air with some really cool wallpapers, watch series 6 and a really cheap and not expensive watch SE. The most exciting thing they announced was A14 Bionic which not only powers iPad Air and is also gonna power the iPhone 12 series this year. See, the A13 chip was amazing and nearly on par with Qualcomm's 865 CPU in daily performance and usage. The battery life was also amazing cause iPhone 11 Pro Max with just 3969mH battery destroyed most flagships even with 4500mH power. So that was really amazing CPU. Now surprising part is Apple is promising a 40% performance improvement in iPad Air and of course the upcoming iPhone 12 in comparison to last year's devices. See 40% is really fast cause A13 was already amazing. Here are some specifications, A14 is based on 5 nanometer process with 6 core CPU, 2 high and 4 low. And there's 11.8 billion transistors, you'll also see an amazing graphics performance thanks to a new 4 core GPU. They say it is the most advanced chip ever made with machine learning and some custom add-ons and it's gonna help developers so that they can take advantage of this power in their applications. There's also new image processing chip for better images and videos so it's a next level CPU which is gonna run iPhone 12 this year. Sad part is 120Hz display is not making its way to the iPhone 12 Pro series this year and that's really disappointing because A14 Bionic along with the smooth display could have made iPhone 12 the unbeatable smartphone for this and next year. Ming-Chi Core Reliable Leaker confirms this news and also say high refresh rate is surely coming to iPhone 13 series next year with LTPO tech something Samsung used with the Note 20 Ultra that's gonna set refresh rate from 10 hertz to 120 hertz and vice versa according to the situation and applications. So yeah 120 hertz next year but this year also we are gonna see some major improvements like lidar sensor and OLED display in the base iPhone 12. They are also gonna increase the base RAM for 4 gigs to 6 gigs in the pro models. That's all guys let's see what Qualcomm is holding up with the 875 CPU next year. All I can see is the Exynos 1000 is nowhere in the competition if leaks are true. The iPhone 12 will start from $699 and that also with this powerful A14 chip. So who is gonna buy this beast? Your thoughts in the comment section. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.